come back to voice of control. This is the house that Jack built. This is the house that Jack built. Listen, how quietly doors are closed, one finger on the catch for fear of slams. Nothing to disturb his well-deserved damn time. After all, as Jack says, he needs a bit of peace and quiet. This is the house that Jack built. Look, lights on only in rooms where he is sat. After all, as Jack says, why would he want to be alone when he's been at work all day missing you? This is the house that Jack built. Notice how pristine and clean. There is a schedule for you to follow. Daily, weekly, monthly tasks. After all, as Jack says, what else would you do at home all day? This is the bank account that Jack built. Receipts required, statements checked, questions asked. After all, as Jack says, what else do you need that he doesn't provide? This is the phone that Jack built. Shiny new model in a shell pink case. Somehow, all your contacts, photos lost in transfer. But after all, as Jack says, your life is with him now. This is the car that Jack built. Sit. Just one. A stay-at-home wife means sacrifice. And after all, as Jack says, you never were a very good driver. This is the wardrobe that Jack built. Dress, long sleeve tops and calf length skirts. After all, as Jack says, you don't really have the legs for jeans. This is the gym that Jack built. Women only, lots of treadmills, no need for you to run alone outside. After all, as Jack says, you owe it to yourself and him to lose that post baby weight. This is the family that Jack built. Bleed, planning for a new baby, pills spirited away, a tub of folic acid on the kitchen table. After all, as Jack says, you're not getting any younger. This is the world that Jack built. Wait. And this is the leaf that you found in the library now hidden in the lining of your purse. After all, as Jack says, what would you do without him? Thank you. Yeah.